viewers. Um, I found this old Jensen TV and we're gonna blow out the filament on the CRT so I'm just gonna set this up carefully and uh, see what happens, what voltage it's actually gonna pop at. I'm actually surprised how high the current is, we just at about 8 volts which is a bit more than the usual 6.3 we're doing about 0.7 ampere. I'll get the camera in position and I'll ramp it up. Here we go 10 volts I'll zoom it out a bit in case it distorts 12 volts pretty good heater in there may take a photo as we go uh, record it as well alright we go a bit higher see what happens we're on 15 volts it's 1.1 1 .1 ampere a little bit of heat dissipated in this device here Yeah, if we go, we go a bit higher. We're on uh, 20 volts at 1.3 ampere. Pretty strong filaments. Twenty four volts, one point five ampere. Twenty eight volts, one point six ampere. Almost like a lamp. Quickly get the meters. Still going, it hasn't popped yet. Definitely there will be a bit of heat in this uh, CRT device. Well, we'll go up to the maximum of this power supply 30 volts, 32 volts, and 1.75 ampere. The filament is still holding in. That's quite amazing. Okay, it's a short clip, so a uh, blue and a green filter at the same time. I'll amp it back up to 32. I need to go to my next type of artillery to get this one popped. But that filament is actually extremely solid. Put simply some uh, jumpers on top of the connector for the CRT. Supply only goes to 32 volts, but I've series it up with a 12 volt accumulator so I have no access to um, uh, 44 volts so we'll see what happens here we go, ramp it up, ramp it up uh, 20 and 12 is 32 volts there we go it popped at 23 and 12, 35 volts that's pretty good going that was a tough good filament 12 volt battery see at the next step I'm gonna do an uh, Burn out with some knock-on wire I got hold of and uh, the other variac because I burned my other variac out.